this is Lou Pimber here. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about why people start a business sometimes. Have you ever thought of starting a business? Have you ever thought of going to business for yourself? Right? The question sometimes is, what do I get into? What do I sell? What do I show? What problem do I solve? Right? So you know, those decisions are entirely up to you, but I can tell you what business I got into. And I got into the, the, the insurance and financial services industry. Why? Because it allowed me a chance to solve for problems. It allowed me a chance to, you know, insure people's lives, protect people's money. And I can, uh, I can build an agency. I can run it from home. I can run it from my office here. I can run it from anywhere I may be in the United States of America. Even out of the country, I can run my business. All right. So, so uh, and I carry no inventory. I get to mentor people. I get to meet people from all over the world. But let's talk about why some people... Uh, think about starting a business. And why should you consider becoming an entrepreneur, starting a business, right? By the way, uh, it's one of the steps in creating wealth for yourself, okay? I'll put a video together on four basic steps. That'll be in another, another video, okay, guys? So let's talk about this for a minute. Number one, I think that some people, I think everybody out there needs extra income. Don't you agree? Everybody needs a little extra money every now and then. So how do you get it? Do you get a second job that's going to pay you enough for you not to quit, right? And you're going to do enough not to get fired? Or do you do it by starting a business? So one of the top reasons why people start a business is because they're looking for extra income. Nothing wrong with extra income, right? Nothing wrong with that. And so that's one of the reasons. The other two is, look, we all are pursuing or would like to pursue the dream of financial freedom. Let's face it. Your job is not going to provide you financial freedom. It's just not going to. Uh, getting a second job is not going to provide you financial freedom either. You got to start a business. You got to become an entrepreneur, okay? And so, and so uh, uh, becoming an entrepreneur, starting a business can put you on a path towards financial freedom, depending on what it is you do, right? Um, additionally, you know, sometimes people start a business because they're looking to grow personally. Perhaps you've outgrown the people you work with. Perhaps you've outgrown kind of, look, you're not that guy you were when you were 20 or when you were 30. You want to grow. You want to uh, uh, elevate your game, elevate your identity. A lot of times starting a business allows you to do that, okay? Because it, it, it forces you to grow as a leader, uh, as an uh, 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 expert in, in whatever product or service you're selling or whatever problem you're solving for. So it increases, it increases personal growth. It's another reason. Look. A lot of times people start a business because they want to help other people. I did. Look, I've had the, the pleasure of helping other people by way of being a soldier, by way of having been in law enforcement for a number of years. But when I found that I could still help people as a business owner, I was like, you know, I think I can do this whole business thing, you know, help other people. And so a lot of times people start a business because they want to be able to help people. How so? Well, if you solve for a problem, you help people. Look at Mr. Bezos. He realized Hey, people want stuff like right now, right? So you create it and eventually uh, what is Amazon today. Pretty cool, right? He saw a problem. He found an, a solution to it and he marketed it to people, right? So a lot of times you people start a business because they want to help other people. But also the other reason is maybe you want to meet new people. Look, maybe you're at your job. You're sick and tired of people you work with all the time. You want to go meet new people. Well, start a business. Uh, solve for a problem, uh, offer a solution, offer a product that's in demand with every generation. That'll allow you a chance to meet new people, right? And by the way, just because you start a business doesn't mean you have to do it full-time. You can do it part-time and you can be successful at that, but it allows you to meet new people. And that's important to people. Like, especially today, everybody's all locked up in their houses with all this COVID stuff going on. Get out there and meet people, man. You know, that's the best way to, to connect and, and actually develop yourself in relationships amongst your community. Now, um, the other reason why people start a business is they really want to work on retirement income. Let's just face it. Today, not a lot of people have pension plans anymore. With Social Security possibly being gone by 2033, that's a problem. <laughs> so if you want to create, start another business, it allows you to create some of that retirement income you're looking for. Okay, Because let's just face it, when you retire, uh, your income isn't going to go up. It's going to drop. Your kids are going to be grown at that point. So you're not going to have those write-offs anymore. Maybe your house is paid off at that point. So what happens? Do, do taxes ever 
decrease, but they always increase. So start a business. It'll help you run toward and achieve the ability to have some sort of retirement income for yourself. Look, the business I'm in allows me for passive income. It allows me for, for uh, income, direct income, but it also, also allows for exponential income uh, by way of what I do. I represent top financial firms from across the country. You name it, from AIG to uh, you name it, National Western, all over the, I represent all of them. It allows me to help and solve problems of financial literacy. Okay, so um, look, the other reason why people should start a business or why people start a business is a lot of times they're looking for a way to pursue their dreams, right? Or, or even leave a legacy. What legacy are you leaving behind? Will your great, great grandkids know who you were when you're long gone? Look, I'm making it a goal that everyone in my family know exactly who I am today and who I was when I'm long gone. I want the kids of my kids and the neighbor's kids to know who I am when I'm gone. Why? Because I want to leave a legacy. You see, my great, great grandfather, I don't know who he is. He didn't leave me anything. And I'll talk about money before you start, you know, putting your comments, stuff like that. No, I'm talking about a legacy. And yes, sometimes that does involve money because money buys stuff. Money provides education. It leaves legacies. You can, you can set up foundations with money. Okay. I want to be able to do that. I want to be able to say, look, that building was named after me. Why? Because I left the money for it. So that people can go into that building and seek shelter or education or, or religion, whatever the case people are looking for. Being a business owner and entrepreneur allows you a chance to leave a legacy for yours and others around you. But it also allows you to pursue your dreams. It's my final point. Starting an on a business, going into business gives you a shot to take control and be able to pursue your dreams. Because let's face it. Most of you here, most people today, no longer dream because your job took away your dreams, right? Your income is capped. You're only going to make as much as they're willing to pay you for it. If you want to pursue your dreams, start a business. Align yourself with good people who want to mentor you to be a business owner, who want to coach you along the way. By the way, I'm looking for people all the time. I'm looking for uh, competitive people, people who are willing to get a license, people who, who have an edge, right, or who, who want to sharpen that edge, people who are willing to be coached to, to be the very best version of themselves. That's what I'm looking for. You might know someone, but this, these are some of the reasons why people start a business today. Extra income, financial freedom, uh, personal growth, uh, along with helping other people, uh, meet new people, uh, retirement income, leave a legacy, and lastly, to pursue their dreams. We're living in an era where current administrations that are out there are just dream killers, man. Just killing the dream. We live in the greatest country in the world in a very short amount of time. Because of entrepreneurship, we've been able to do quite a bit. People escape, flee fall out of airplanes to come to America. Because in America, you can write your own story. Capitalism, free enterprise allows you to do that. Are you writing your story? And who's in your corner to help you write your story? Do you have a mentor? Do you have a coach? Go start a business. Look, if you like what you saw, like and subscribe to my channel, share it. And if you want to hear more about what I do, Put a comment in, 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 in the chat there or in the, uh, in the comment section. Uh, you can also follow me on Instagram, Lou Pember. And let's talk. I need help. Our country needs help. We need leaders to rise up. Guys, have a great day. My name is Lou Pember. Mexicano from Mexico, was a soldier, was a cop, and, and uh, undercover drug agent, and uh, actor on television and movies, and now entrepreneur. If this guy, si este muchacho puede vivir sus sueños, I don't see why you can either. Okay, guys, have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.